So this evening, it looks like it might be clear. So I think I'm going to have a go at an object I've never tried to image before, and that's the Monkey Head Nebula. I'm Dr. Ray, and welcome to Astrogadge. So the Monkey Head Nebula, otherwise known as NGC 2174, it's an emission nebula in the constellation of Orion the Hunter. It's magnitude 6.8, so it's quite bright and it makes for a you know a, quite a nice photogenic target. Although I haven't <laughs> I haven't imaged it myself before, so this is again a bit new to me. It's about 6,400 light years from Earth. It's thought to be a, a very prolific uh, site of uh, star formation and it has what's termed its own pillars of creation which are very similar in appearance to, to that of the Eagle Nebula uh, in the constellation of Serpents. The stars at the centre of the nebula are thought to be the power source for the uh, emissions uh, from, from this object and it's associated with uh, an open star cluster known as NGC 2175. In terms of angular size it's slightly larger than the full moon. So let's get out there and, and hopefully image the thing. So we're taking 180 second sub exposures. Uh, this is frame number six. Good signal to noise ratio, I think. Pretty good. This is frame number 45. Again, looks like we've got a pretty good signal. Bit of a wind, but it doesn't seem to be affecting anything. So fingers crossed, all looks well for the time being. Okay, folks, so that's uh, uh, that's the end of the session tonight. The um Nebula's uh, just pretty much gone behind the house now, so uh, I'm going to have to call it night. But uh, hey, I've got about uh, three hours worth of data, which is, is pretty damn good for me in this uh, climate. So um, I'm looking forward to processing it tomorrow. So uh, I'll see you then. So hi folks, uh, here we are, uh, the day after, uh, and I've finished uh, processing it. I've used a very similar workflow to that that I've shown before uh, in different videos with a couple of exceptions. Um, with it being quite a bright object, I had quite a lot of signal to play with. Uh, so my workflow this time is slightly different from previous ones in as much as I'm using colour masks uh, to help um, fine tune the colour rendition. Uh, and also uh, I've, I've kept the blue channel which I'll explain in the uh, little romp through the workflow. So here we go.
Was interesting and useful to you so uh, okay here's now here's the uh, the finished image uh, I'm quite pleased with it see what you think Folks, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. I, I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, if you like the content, uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Or if you didn't, you know what to do about it. Um, but again, but thanks for watching. And if you're new to the channel, uh, please consider uh, subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything. It just simply means you get a heads up in any uh, future content that I, I may produce. So, well, that's it for today, uh, and again, thanks so much for watching, and uh, see you next time. But meantime, keep watching the skies. Watch the skies everywhere. Keep looking. Keep watching the skies. <laughs>